Hi, I'm Eddie Adamus Booth and they have the quickest way to get social content out of your red camera into your social network. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jia Yoon, Small Rig, and B&H. Hi, I'm here at NAB 2023 with DIYphotography.net and I'm with Paul, Senior Vice President of Product. And Paul, I've heard about um, Adamus Connect. Please tell me what do you have new in that region? Well, we've got a lot of new things for NAB 2023. I guess to start with, they're all based on a lot of the new things that we have are based on Atomus Cloud Studio, which is the cloud gateway to many different services. So feeding into Atomus Cloud Studio is our connected product. So we're actually next to here to the um, Shogun Connect, which is the seven inch HDR uh, screen product, fully integrated connected product with Wi-Fi, Ethernet, wireless sync time code that connects into our Atomus Cloud Studio. We have uh, as a product called the Zato Connect, and we have the good old Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus, which you can simply attach the Atomus Connect module on the back to bring it into the same workflow as the fully integrated Shogun Connect. So once we have those connected products, which of course can connect, uh, with, with the, particularly with the Shogun and the Ninja, we can connect to any HDMI and SDI camera. We can pair those into our Atomus Cloud Studio account, and then we can choose many different destinations of what you want to do with it. And that's really what we're showing here. That we're showcasing all the different use cases that you can do with an Atomus connected product. So for example, we already announced um, people are already using it for streaming. So you can stream to your favorite platform or any R2MP, L2MPS destination from our product by configuring that in Atomus Cloud Studio. We have already been now for, well, almost probably eight months. We've been working very closely with, with Adobe and camera, camera to Cloud with Frame.io, where we can use the same setup with the same hardware, connect, collecting to Atoms Cloud Studio and setting the destination of Frame.io. And once you're paired and connected to your Frame.io project, we can now record, we can record locally a proxy file and a, and a high res file, and then the proxy file automatically will go up into, into Frame.io. And one of the new announcements for the last few weeks is that we now have enhanced that feature by having what we call progressive upload. So whereas before you used to have to wait until you stopped recording and then that proxy file would then go up into the cloud and end up in your Frame.io project, now that file is going up as, you, as you're actually recording. So you could record like an hour and a half take, a long form take, but within a couple of minutes of finishing pressing record, that file will be ready in Frame.io, ready to edit with. So like a super, super enhancement, this progressive upload. That, that sounds amazing. So you hit the stop button, you're already ready to edit. You hit the stop button, you're 99% there, and then you're ready to edit one and a half minutes, two minutes later. And you have mentioned in briefly the uh, Atoma Studio. So tell me more about that. Yeah, so the Cloud Studio is, is our own cloud, which is a gateway to all these different services. Obviously, we've talked about streaming, we've talked about camera to cloud. We've got a new Capture to Cloud service, which we've now uh, announced an integration for in the next couple of months for Sony CI Cloud for media, which is another platform we give our, so we give our users more choice as to where they want to send their content. Uh, we've then been demoing on this part of the booth where you can use the same connected hardware into a live production. And this is Atomus live production where all of the features of a live production with vision mixer, multi-camera input, sound mixer, intercom, talkback, tally. That's all in running in the cloud with no physical hardware apart from this unit. Everything's so in the cloud. What do I need to activate this feature? So you need to sign up for an Atomus Cloud Studio account. It starts at free with some a lot of demo time for the live production as well. And then there are some tiered plans which open up and unlock lots of flexibility for multiple units that you can attach to your account. Uh, live credits for the live production are built in. And all the flexibility for this progressive upload feature that I just mentioned. Uh, variable bit rate, so you can now change the bit rate and the quality of the file that's going up into the cloud. So on our tiered plans, you, you can end up with a, with a file where you can have a super high quality, even 30 megabits per second file, H.265 file, going up into the cloud that you can start editing with straight away. And in terms of hardware, do I need to buy anything? Like, how would this work with, uh, with the Atomus Connect? 
So with the Atomist Connect, you don't need to buy anything apart from an Atomist Connect product and an Atomist Connect studio account, signing up for an Atomist Studio account. Then you have access to all of the, the gateway for all of these, these features. The other third pillar of that that we've just literally announced a couple of days ago that we're showing here on the booth is that you can take the same hardware through Atomus Cloud Studio and now go into Atomus Edit. So this is a cloud editing system, browser based, and you can take your content directly off your favorite camera, SDI camera, HDMI camera, directly into the timeline of a browser based editing system, Atomus Edit. And it's so cool because it's a browser-based system. It could be used by anyone in the world. So you can start shooting, you're recording locally, you're backing everything up locally, you're recording a high-res file, and then another file is going up into, into Atomus Edit. You can start editing that package together. You can do titles, transitions. You can, you can package a whole thing together, editing in the cloud, on the browser, and then export directly to a social media platform like YouTube or Vimeo. That's amazing. So you get pro quality directly and quickly, uh, let's say from a sports event or something like that, where speed matters, you get it out very, very quickly. Yeah, yeah, super quickly. Sports is a great example. Live events, music events, news, anything where you want to get, oh, it, it could be any, any corporate events, you have so many scenarios where you want to get content out quick on social media. But of course, the beauty is we've still got a high res version of that on device that's safe, we, we can then, you know, so you can always use that later. You can export from our Atomus Edit platform into an, another NLE for more craft editing later on as well. And is there a price associated with the Atomus Edit or is that part of the bundle? No, th there's a separate price for that. Again, starts at free and then some very cost effective price plans, which really get you more, probably more in the way of storage because obviously with storage involved for your edit and you get an increased amount of users and that people can collaborate at the same time with the different price plans. So what would be like the lowest tier and the highest tier? The lowest tier would be free. And, <laughs> and the, right after that? And the highest tier would, 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 would be 50. So it's likely to be free, $10, $50 per month for all of the different things I mentioned in terms of sort of uh, storage particularly. And then, you know, just uh, slightly related, slightly away, if we're in a place like this where bandwidth is an issue, so how do we overcome uh, this workflow bottleneck? Yeah, well, it, it's not really a bottleneck. I mean, I totally get the fact that we're now talking about everything that's cloud related, which means you need to be connected to the internet. But actually, a lot of these workflows that we're talking about, obviously not streaming or the live production stuff, but if you're thinking about camera to cloud, capture to cloud, live edit, the beauty of that is that we're actually recording um, locally. We're recording a high-res file and a lower quality H.265 file on the device. If you were to lose connectivity or have slower connectivity, all that happens is that we just store that locally and then when we have the bandwidth, the files can, files can go up. And this, is, this has been played out with some great use cases we've had with, with um, Frame.io, with Camera to Cloud, in the last few months, where you have scenarios like the Sundance Film Festival where they're using multiple film crews are using this product. And, and in most locations they had bandwidth and the, the clips were going up straight away as they were shooting. In some other locations they didn't. But of course all of those clips are still recorded locally and they even found that when they put the Atomus device in the car and they were driving to the next location, still uploading. the clips were uploading on their own and they would just go bang, bang, bang and they, they would go up. So, it doesn't matter that you lose a connection or have a slow connection, it will always catch up and when you get the internet connection, the clips will still go. Paul, it sounds like Adamus is making big strides and you know that this is where the world is going, so I'm happy to see Adamus leading the way. Uh, thank you so much for this interview. We're going to keep walking the floor and bringing you more news from NAB 2023. Stick around.